Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Gary with GameStorm, and I'm doing a quick pickup video. And uh, this first item that I picked up, I ordered it off of eBay, and it is a Model 1 Sega Genesis uh, Sega CD. I ordered it uh, not working. I only got it for just a little over 30 bucks because they normally go for oh, around 100 or so, maybe a little more. Um, haven't I? I've tried to replace the fuse in it, but it's not the fuse. It's got to be capacitors. So there's a website that I know of that I can order a capacitor kit for this model of Sega CD. So once I replace all the capacitors, hopefully it'll work. But if not, it'll be a cool collectible piece, and I can pick up maybe a Model Two to uh, play Sega CD games with. All right, these next few items uh, picked up at a uh, video game shop in New Braunfels, Texas called The D-Pad. My wife, daughter, and I were down there for a few days during spring break just to spend a little time with uh, some family that Mandy has and just to have a little fun. Uh, so I walked into the store and they were remodeling so they had a lot of their stock like boxed up. So I thought, oh man, but then I, I saw two systems in the case that I knew I just had to have. So uh, I never did think I would find these out in the wild. I've never seen them out in the wild. So uh, the first thing I got was a Model 2 Sega Saturn. And as you can see, I bought the Action Replay Plus cartridge for it. It allows me to play uh, Japanese games. Also allows me to back up uh, saves and allows me to play games uh, that require the four megabyte cartridge and the one megabyte cartridge. So if you ever get a Sega Saturn, you need one of these. It came with the Model 2 controller, which in my opinion is like the nicest controller in the 16-bit uh, or 32-bit era. Also picked up these two games for it, the World Series Baseball, and I know it's a sports game, but it was only 99 cents, and it was complete in the box, and back in the day, we used to play uh, Home Run Derby on it, and it was really fun, so I thought, what the heck, and I also got Sega Rally Championship complete in the box, and I've been playing it a little bit, it's pretty fun. Uh, there's something else about the Sega Saturn that I thought, you know, I need to uh, get a mod chip for it, so I, I already ordered the mod chip and have installed it already, and it works really good. Uh, the mod chip is to allow me to play backups <laughs> that I get, so if you know what that means. The next thing I got, they had in the same store, and I thought, oh my gosh, I've never seen one of these anywhere, and I thought, and I've heard people say, you'll never find one of these out in the wild anywhere, that most people order them off eBay and everything, but it was a TurboGrafx-16, and it's in really good shape, works really well, came with the Turbo Stick, which I don't really like it. So, and it didn't come with a turbo pad, so if anybody out there has an extra turbo pad and they want to add this to their collection, I'd be glad to trade it for the turbo pad. And picked up a game just to make sure that the console was working. It's not that great of a game, I played it for a little bit, but it's Keith Courage and Alpha Zones. And as you can see, It's complete except for the original cardboard box it came in, I think. It has the little has the little plastic sleeve thingy. And if anyone has never seen a TurboGrafx 16 game, this is what they look like. They're really small. But eventually I'm going to get an EverDrive for it so I can play a lot of those really expensive games that I just can't afford. Alright, those have been my pickups, and uh, this is Gary with GameStorm.
Thanks for watching.